Hi, this is Scott Fresner, developer of TCEPs and Fast Films. I'd like to talk to you about running a simulated process nine color plus two white routine on a simple spot color design. They might be thinking, well, if it's simple spot color, I might as well just separate this thing in Corel Draw or Illustrator if it's a vector based image. But the truth is, TCEPs does a great job of the under basin highlight and it pulls the colors out and does everything in less than about 30 seconds. So let's click on Run Simulated Nine Color Plus Two Whites. And the program gives you the help menus. And again, don't blow by these in the beginning. In the beginning, make sure and read these. And it says load the masked or the black version first. The unmasked or the white version second. And the program cooks and does lots of calculations, hundreds of calculations. And it adjusts for dot gain, determines the print sequence, adjusts for how plastisols print wet on wet, and does the entire set of steps, and typically on fast computers in about less than 30 seconds. And it's cooking right now. now. This design was built in Corel Draw. It could have just as easily been built in Adobe Illustrator. And this is your basic vector type design. And again, we could have separated this thing in Corel or Illustrator, but the truth is we get great underbases, great highlights in TCEPs. Now, we have the RGB, that's the original file. And we don't do anything with this for right now. This is going to be this is going to go away. All we care about are the separations. These are called channel separations, and these are our channels. And TCEPs builds all the channels, and again, adjusts for dot gain, determines the print sequence, and does all the behind-the-scenes things that might take a good artist a number of hours to do. There's the channel for the underbase. There's the channel for the lemon yellow, scarlet red, royal blue, purple, light blue, green, gray brown, highlight white, and black. Now I know that that's an 11 color print, but let's see what we can do here. First of all, there's not much brown. I'm going to go ahead and just immediately dump, dump the brown. We'll throw the brown away. Now we're going to come back and actually take a look at the design on a black shirt. There's it on a black shirt with all the colors in place. We don't print black ink on a black shirt, so we'll take the black ink off. Let's change the shirt color to see this a little better. Let's, let's put this on a pretty pretty light colored shirt, like a cream color. Now we're going to put the black on and see what we have. And it's not bad. Now, the gray is the odd color. We're going to find, without the gray, we're going to get our gray, but this is made up of black, and we have a little less control. If we aren't careful when we print this job, this gray is going to get darker because of dot gain. On some designs with lots of gray, it's almost better to print the gray, frankly. So it's a judgment call depending on how many colors you can print. Now this job does have the green. And in the five color routine, the green is made with yellow and blue, but it gives you kind of a kind of a dirty green. And so if you really need green, I'm going to pop this green, by the way. I'm just taking a look at the green, seeing if I need it. I'm going to click on the green channel, go to Image, Adjustments, Curves. This brings up the tone curve. And I'm just going to see what happens if I boost the green. Pretty good. And I can uncheck preview and see what it looks like before my changes, and then check preview and see what it looks like with my changes. Not bad. Now let's see if we can reduce the color count. This is just a basic cartoon type design. Do we need the purple? Well, there's purple over here. It's a tough one. We can make the purple by combining channels, and I'll show you that in a different video. Do I need the light blue? I think I need the light blue. We could also combine the blues. Do I need the highlight white on a light shirt? Probably not. So right now it is a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine color print. If I take the gray off, it's an eight color print. Now I think the red's a little weak. I'm just doing a judgment call, looking at the red. I'm going to click on the red channel, scarlet red. Go to image adjustments curves. Let's pop that red a little bit. There we go. Much better. I'm going to do the same thing for the yellow. Now, if you're thinking, well, the program should have done all this for you, the program gets you very close. Your job is to just be bold. Look at that yellow. It makes the, the oranges richer. And so don't be shy about making tweaks. Run the separations. It gets you very close. It does hours worth of work in 30 seconds and then just take and make adjustments. Now, in an 
another video I will show you how we can reduce the blue down to one blue, reduce the color count down by removing the purple and making the purple, and getting this down to a six color print. That is how you do a simple spot color separation using T-seps.